Hello and welcome into Kerbalcraft. Today we're going to be taking a look at another episode of Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition. This time what I'm doing slightly differently is when I did those first two episodes in the most recent version of the Xbox 360 Edition, I got a comment that basically suggested that I try the original version that's on the disc. Now at first I was like, well I don't have a disc so I'm not sure how I could do that because I downloaded it off the arcade. But then I realized, oh there's a title update in the storage menu and if I perhaps if I move that to another drive and then unplug the drive before I start Minecraft then it should load in an older version right well I was right about that so this is TU6 you'll notice the screen is older it's a lot simpler uh, if we go to play a game here uh, obviously it prompts me to go to Xbox Live but we don't need to do that and then we go on the hard drive and here you can see some of the different uh, things that were added in this version. Uh, villages, strongholds are new, uh, abandoned mine, mine shafts. So this is basically equivalent to beta 1.8. I got some of these uh, worlds I was trying out the version here just to see what it was like. I put old in front of all of them so when, when I put the update back in I don't accidentally load these worlds and then make it so that I can't play them on this version again. I also took all my existing saves and put them on that flash drive that I unplugged. That way, there's no possible way that I could accidentally goof those up. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new world and title it Old YT Survival. So this is uh, technically episode three of the series, whereas in which the first two episodes I play on the, uh, the version from 2018, which is basically the update Aquatic. However, this is what we're going to be doing now. We're going to be playing on OG uh, 1.8, Beta 1.8. We're going to be playing on TU6 instead of instead of playing on the newest version because this is this is a lot more cooler. Now, if somebody does happen to want me to still play on that original world from the newer version, you can leave me a comment and maybe I'll figure out something where I can do like a video about that or whatever. But honestly, I feel like the popular opinion is going to be let's play on the the older version. So for a seed. We're gonna choose everything. There we go. That's everything. Create the world. And the the load times are way faster on this version than it is in the in the modern uh, stuff. And the playability is just way better. Like it's probably actually 60 FPS, whereas opposed to if you play on the newest version, it's probably like 30 FPS if you're lucky. And even then it's really stuttering. Alright. Here we are. As you can see, we have a hunger bar, but there is no XP bar because this is beta 1.8 is right when they added hunger, but before they added XP and enchanting and all that. There are strongholds in this version, but they don't do anything. Don't know if they spawn end portal frames, but even if they did, you can't go to the end in this version. Uh, so this is not a beatable game, but it's still a playable game. In fact, something happened to my audio. Give me a second. Let's go into settings, audio. Oh, so there is a glitch with this uh, version or it makes some of the settings set to zero. So there, is, there was a glitch where it had game sensitivity all the way down to zero. And at first I thought my, uh, my joystick was broken, but then I looked it up on Reddit. Somebody said, had a similar problem. It's just a glitch where it, it defaults it to 0% for some reason, which is obviously a glitch. Like, there's no reason that would need to be the default. There we go. Got our first tree. So now, interesting thing about this version is if you notice, birch and oak wood, they're all the same. There's no different wooden planks. It's just wooden planks. And you'll see here, it uses the birch and they, they all look like oak planks because I remember that back in the day. So yeah, this uh, TU6 is from 2012. I want to say November of 2012. I was just looking at the release notes. And TU5 was like the main big update that, that made it go from, that introduced the beta 1.8 uh, features. And TU6 is basically just a patch to that. So TU5, TU6, you know, it's pretty similar. Now we do want to plant our saplings because there should be separate birch saplings. Yeah, there's still separate birch saplings so you can grow the different tree. There's a lava pit over there, obviously. Uh, make some sticks. And, oh, duh, you gotta make a crafting table in order to make a pickaxe. 
and then make a wooden pick and man everything is just so much simpler in this version it is actually pretty cool I mean, Minecraft is the type of game where, you know, updates are added cumulatively over the years. And, of course, some people may say that that uh, makes the game too bloated or there's just too much going on. Yeah, sometimes it's nice to just play an older version like this. Uh, I definitely remember playing this back in the day. I remember uh, all the kids on the block had an Xbox and they, after we get done playing like kickball or some shit outside, They'd be like, yo, you want to come in and we'll play uh, Minecraft Xbox? Because gravel, gravel falls in this version. I'm thinking of Pocket Edition where there was a time when gravel did not fall. But if you notice, this is the old gravel texture, which I think looks really nice. Uh, when they first added the, the newer gravel texture, not the new textures from 2019, but like the back in like 2012 or 2013 or whenever it was. At first I thought the gravel looked pretty whack. This stuff just looks really nice. Now hopefully we can find some coal. I'm gonna turn the gamma up a little bit. Yeah, let's turn it up to 80. So yeah, like I said earlier, this is going to be called episode three, as you know, cause you've probably seen the title already, but one and two are me playing on the newer, latest release of Minecraft Xbox, which is basically the update aquatic. If you want to see those, you can, but if if you're just starting and you come across this video, you're okay with not watching those. Like, you're not going to miss anything. This is essentially episode one, I'm just calling it episode three. It's still the series in which I play Minecraft Xbox. I don't want to hit that wolf because that would not be good. I want to find like a, a mountain that has like coal on the side. And you can see like the, the flat items are like two-dimensional. See? Two-dimensional items. I think this is when they first added, uh, I want to say it's like when they first added like beef and chicken and stuff like that because before uh, you could only kill pigs to get food. And that is also when there was no hunger so killing pigs would essentially just restore your hearts immediately. Now the thing I appreciate about Minecraft Xbox 360, even the, the newest versions is they, they basically skipped all the features from the combat update, uh, like the 1.9 or whatever it was. See, there's some coal right there. I do need to make a new pickaxe. Which was great, because, you know, everyone and their dog hated that update. Oh, I could have made a stone pickaxe, whatever. That was a very controversial update, as I'm sure you already know. Uh, Xbox 360 edition is pretty much the GOAT for, like, not really implementing that. Also, the controls on, on Xbox 360 are just just really good. Like 4J really did a good job of implementing the way that the controller feels and the way it, it works on this version of Minecraft. It's just better than using a controller with Bedrock version, in my opinion. And I've heard other people say the same thing. Yeah, screw this, I'm making a stone pickaxe. Also, the performance on this version on the Xbox 360 is just so much better. Whoa, there's a lot of coal. I'm not used to seeing that much coal on the sides there, but might as well get it. I should open my map too. I haven't done that yet. There we go. So I think this is kind of where we spawn this back over here. Cause there's a plains biome, which plains biomes are great for building houses. As I'm sure everyone knows. It is a little different not being able to, to swim, but you know, this is OG Minecraft. I feel like with all the features that are in modern versions of Minecraft, learning the game as a novice would be a lot more difficult. Learning this back in the day is a lot easier objectively than trying to learn the modern version just because there's so much less going on. All right, let's make a house. Oh, so if you place a block where there's grass, it doesn't place over it like in a newer version. So we gotta get rid of all this. There is a sheep here, so I can use that to get a bed. Damn. There's three of them. Oh, that's great. But I am going to need to cook food. Let's make a furnace. See, there's already a spider there. Let's get the sheep here. We're playing on hard, by the way. There's a wolf. Where was that other sheep? Oh, there's one up there. Damn, we're gonna die. Yeah, I don't got my armor to protect me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go mining. And my pickaxe died. I left my crafting table at the other place. That's okay. 
I hope those mobs don't find me in here. And we found another cave. We must be kind of high up. Oh, we're at 67. That's not that high. Oh, we found iron. Nice. Honestly, this is way more fun than doing the uh, the newer version. I feel like this is something I could actually make a series out of and like want to continue it. Looks like we found something. Just a little, one of these little tiny caves. Let's see, how much iron did we get? Five. We're at 54 now. Yeah, it's like every time I try playing new Minecraft, it's like... I get bored after like an hour, but this is something I can get behind. If this video does well, uh, let me know if, if you want to see me do like a uh, going through all my old worlds from back in the day, because that might make for an interesting video. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It's one of those things like, yeah, I definitely care about it, of course, but like other people might not give a crap about the worlds that I made when I was like 12 years old. Now we just wait for that. Might as well make an iron sword while we're at it. Let's see where we're at. 25. Oh shoot, I didn't want to do that. I didn't realize you could burn crafting tables. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but I don't think a lot of people have ever tried to do that. Comment down below if you've tried to burn a crafting table on purpose. Now we're gonna get our full set of tools. So now I don't gotta worry about breaking dirt with my hands or breaking crafting tables with the pickaxe. We're at 16, we're getting close. We can go to Y12 for diamonds. Some people say 13 because it's a block above the lava, but if you go at Y12, there's technically a higher chance of getting diamonds marginally, and the lava that you do find is right is like right there, so it's pretty easy to just place a water bucket. And we found more iron, which I really need. Oh, and you can see we have a uh, bedrock fog because that was a thing for a little bit and then they removed it because I guess people didn't like it or there was like performance issues or something on the PC. I don't remember why it got removed. If anyone's wondering, uh, I am going to be doing more Kerbal Space Program videos. I was going to do a, uh, a first time in KSP2 video, but then the devs killed KSP2 so it's like, well, okay, that's not really relevant anymore. So I guess now I gotta make a KSP1 video and just stick to KSP1. I hope I find diamonds. Well, I found more iron. Honestly, at this stage in the game, there's no such thing as too much iron. I'd like to find at least one vein of diamonds before I resurface. Oh, found a cave. Some iron, some lava. I wish I had water in my bucket, but I don't. Plenty of iron in here. Oh, I don't got no armor. I might be, yeah, that might not be a good idea. <laughs> Whoops, at least it wasn't diamonds, bro. Oh, shit. 
Oh sh Oh And my stuff burned. That that was really dumb. That was just that was just plain up stupidity. And it's nighttime. Great. Let's see if I can go back and get my shit back. Or at least some of it. The sword and whatever else didn't burn in the lava. But it also reminds me I forgot to save because I, I like to keep autosave off. If we die, so like even if I did save, if we die, there's no, I'm just setting the ground rule that there's no like, like wussing out and using uh, autosave to recover your stuff. Cause like if you die, you gotta live with it. So like right there, that was, that was really bad. So like even if I had saved right before, I wouldn't go back and just like do the thing that Xbox lets you do. Cause you know, it doesn't autosave everything. So it looks like we got most of our stuff back, but rip that sword and I think it looks like the axe is gone. Oh, we lost our iron too. Oh, that's whack. Oh, that's really whack. Great. In the bucket. We lost a lot of things made out of iron. Nice. Smooth move. But I am going to save right now just to save it. Oh, great. I think this one's fine. Nope. But it's a good thing I didn't try to step onto it like I did last time. <sighs> Can't believe I lost all that freaking lava. I'm gonna go this way now. Great, so I lost like 20 minutes worth of stuff and I need new more torches because I lost a bunch of those. And I'm almost out of wood. Let's see if that hadn't set me back so far. Lapis lazuli. Honestly, what's the point? Cause this is, Lapis doesn't give you XP. Uh, Cause this is before XP. There's a lot of Lapis. That is not, that is not how it works in the, in the later versions. <laughs> yeah, Lapis doesn't give you XP. Don't have to use it for enchanting cause there's no enchanting. Literally Lapis only has its most well-known use which is being used as a die. It's infamously well-known use. Come on, I wanna find some more iron now. Cause my iron pick's about to run out. I am gonna switch to a stone pick just so I don't run out. So like I have it if I need to mine uh, diamonds or something. Ah, there we go. Finally got some more. How much iron is that? That was five iron, so that's enough to get another pick and a sword, but not a, enough to make another bucket. Yeah, it's just like, oh, I wish I had my water bucket falls into the lava immediately. It's totally preventable too. Like, I pretty much just fell in there because I was being a dumbass. Watch it happen again. Are there any exposed ores on here? Oh, and there's a cave right here. Bunch of freaking gravel. Take another vein of iron and some diamonds to go. I can't believe I lost all the iron stuff. Why couldn't it have been like, well, I don't know, the gravel, the flint, the piece of string, or, you know, the cobblestone. I guess that's what I get for being a dumbass. Oh, that was our last stick. Actually, that's probably fine. Cause when that other, when the new iron pickaxe gets low, I'm just gonna go up, even if I don't have diamonds. Cause, well, I kind of have to. Aw oh, man, if I had that bucket. Great. Are we on the edge of the world? Oh, we are on the edge of the world. I don't know why I'm using a shovel, but whatever. I guess we're gonna go this way now.
want to at least find some more iron. Yes. All right. That's good. Because this should bring us back to basically what we were, where we had the axe and the... Uh, it's only four. Damn, I spoke too soon. I guess I can kill this wooden pig. And just like that, I think we're done. Because I can't make another pickaxe because I don't got wood to make sticks. So we're going back. Hopefully it's daytime. Nope. Of course it's nighttime. Damn. I heard a sheep. Is it up there? Oh, there's a couple up there. Are there any down here? Oh, yeah, there is one. Yeah, and there's a bunch of creepers over there. That explosion had a lot of bass on it. <laughs> Skeleton sniping my ass. Oh, I can still do this. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, that worked that time. Come on. Aw, oh, crap. I need more wood. And I don't have an axe. Oh, shoot. That guy snuck up on me. Oh, yeah. This is the... This is the old one where it wakes you up in the middle of the night with a monster. Oh, it woke me up again. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Dude, I'm on half a heart. The regen's not very fast. Is that, that's an enderman. Oh, I was, I died again. And it didn't set my spawn because it didn't let me sleep. God damn it. Let's see if it lets me sleep this time. It probably won't. But I do need to get my stuff back. Something's gonna kill me. Oh, that spider's getting that, that skeleton for me. <laughs> oh well. Gosh darn, you're a pain in the arse. Nope. Nope, it's not happening. But I think I got all my items. Try again, I guess. Nope. It really doesn't want it to happen. It's almost morning. There we go. I think it let me set my spawn that time. Uh, okay, so now we need to get more wood. Let's see. I got enough bones here. Maybe I could tame this dog. There we go. That's cool. Now we got a doggo. There's a lot of saplings, but that's good because then I can plant some nearby. Just drop a lot of saplings. There's definitely more saplings than the current version. I think they actually did that on purpose on Xbox where they made the trees drop more saplings because the worlds are finite. But then again, I might be mistaken. Let's start making some smooth stone. And we're going to make a chest. Two of them. And I think I'm going to do the same kind of thing that I did in the other episode where I have a door on every side. I'm going to plant some of these. Is there another cow around here? Because if I get one more piece of leather, I can make a tunic. 
I only see like a million pigs and no cows. There was a bunch of cows earlier. Darn. I'm sure some will spawn in later. I think this time we're gonna go for something a little simpler for the house. Something like this. Oh, this is before doors were stackable. Oh, that's cool. I guess I have a pig in the house now. That's okay. We are gonna have to get sand to make glass. At least this time we should actually be able to sleep. Oh, I just realized I probably need to move my bed. Oh well. Gonna have to move the dog. And my shovel broke, but I guess I have one piece of iron. Like, what else am I gonna use it for other than flint steel, which I don't really need right now? And then we're gonna use some more of the stone in order to make some slabs. <laughs> so this is where stone, so three full-size stone blocks, blocks turn into three half slabs, which, you know, obviously doesn't make sense, but s some of these older crafting recipes really did not make sense. That's definitely one of the disadvantages of playing on this older version. And uh, try and find some sand. I'm pretty sure you, you can make panes in this version, because there was a while... Because I think they added those in the 1.8. Oh, I messed that up. <laughs> I'm going to need a bucket to fix that. Right, let's double check that because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you can make glass panes. So yeah, see, that looks fine. And then I'm going to do it so that these are like full-size half slab blocks. Yeah, see, that look, That really adds some more stuff. And then since it is a flat roof, I can... Uh, since these are like full blocks, I can put torches here to prevent the mobs from spawning. Now we can just fill it in like this. So now we can do automatic doors. And just like that, the house is complete. Well, I think that's pretty much gonna do it for this episode. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be trying to do some more of these, hopefully in the near future. Like I said, I got have a Cripple Space Program video coming out soon. Uh, I just got my Outer Planets mod upgraded to version 1.12. Uh, yeah, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want more content like this, uh, be sure to subscribe. Comment if you have any suggestions. Have a good one.